Hey gang, how's it going? So it's been three washes since I have dyed my hair with Feria Power Copper. Here is the box to compare. If you haven't noticed, I cut my hair. I cut it on Sunday. Today's Tuesday, so I cut it on Sunday. After I did my video on Saturday showing the second wash, I was getting really frustrated with my hair, and I'm like, why is my hair having more bad days than good days? What's the deal? I'm throwing it up in ponytails a lot more. I don't understand. And then I realized, oh, it's time for me to cut my hair. My layers are getting too long and it's looking too drab. I cut my own hair. I've been cutting and coloring my own hair for um, maybe three and a half, four years. You know, I was paying a girlfriend to do it and she's kind of self-taught and paying her was less than going to a salon. But every time I go somewhere to get my hair cut, it didn't turn out right. For the cost that I was paying her, I would have to buy the products first, you know, so she had her own scissors, her own razors, but I had to buy the dye. And so I was buying the dye, buying, you know, if she had leftover highlight, a lot of times she'd have leftover highlight, and so she would just use hers. Um, and then I would pay her on top of that 60 bucks to cut and color it. And so after everything was said and done, I was paying like $80. And I figured, you know what, how about I just give it a go and I cut and color my own hair. And if it turns out like crap, the only person I had to blame is me. So what I do when I cut my hair is I will straighten it. So I did use heat on my hair a couple days ago. I straighten it and then I cut it and then I rinsed it with cold water and that like straight cold water. I don't know how y'all can wash your hair like get your hair wet, shampoo your hair, wash that out, put conditioner in your hair, wash that out, all with cold water. Because I used straight cold water and it was miserable and it, I just rinsed my hair just to get it um, to air dry again so that I can style it as like this. But even when I used cold water, dye still ran out of my hair. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's typical. Maybe dye still runs out of your hair even with cold water. And that's another reason why I just use regular shower temperature water. If dye's going to be coming out either way, why not be comfortable in the process? So also with that, I use just regular basic shampoo and conditioner. I don't use the sulfate free or the red boost or anything like that yet. I would like to eventually give that a try um, in my uh, routine, in my hair care routine. Um, I don't use any heat on my hair normally. I don't use a blow dryer or anything else on my hair. I just let it air dry and then I put L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray in my roots and on my ends. I'm gonna do a side by side so you can see how it looks right after I dyed it. I miss, I miss the saturation. It's, you know, it's, the red is still there. I still like the red, I think it's pretty, but I'm, I just miss that vibrancy that it gives. So, you know, it is what it is and that's okay. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank y'all for watching. I'll catch you on the flip. Bye guys.